Hello everyone, today is Thursday, July 7th, 2011. Some of you may not know, one of my favorite things is paranormal. One of my favorite paranormal places is Hills. The history of Raven Hills is, um, the land was purchased by Major Thomas H. Haynes in 1883. Major Haynes needed a school for his daughter to go to, so he started a schoolhouse down Page's Lane and hired a woman whose name was Lizzie Hain Harris Teacher. Mrs. Harris loved her tiny school against the, the <coughs> hillside and remembered her fun funders for Scots. Waverly notes novels, so she named the school for their schoolhouse, Waverly School. Major Haynes liked the peaceful sound name, so he named it his property Waverly, and the Board of Hospital kept the name when they bought the land and opened the sixth century. Waverly Hills began with a two-story frame building and a hop roof and half timbering construction on the building beginning in 18, 1980. And it opened on July 6, 1910. The building was designed for safety for the patients. To, 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 tubal was a serious disease back when, before antibacterial. Well, were discovered. People who was affected with people had to ask the general public and place in the area where they could rest, stay calm, and have plenty of first air. Built was surrounded by peaceful wood woods to create a scene. The people reached an epic proportions among the public and Fraser Ridge, Kentucky. The Little TB Center was, begin was beginning filled with over 140 people, ending a day that a much larger hospital would be built. Massive <coughs> style that you see in the 1926 photo on the left. Which I'll post some photos. In this video, so you'll see what, the, what this is talking about. Good. So Still standing on Waverly Hills today, the St. Prison put at least 400 patients. It was considered to be one of the most modern and well equipped factory factories when it opened. Construction on this began March of 1924. It, op it opened on October 7, 1925. The missing patients, Waverly functions at the hospital until 1961. After I had antibacterials were in invented, it was closed down to the remark we know to be reopened again in 1962 at Woodhaven Medical Center. The factory renamed the center until 1980 when it closed by the state. And it's basically the history of it. I'll post the links to the the Waverly Hills site and the, the strips. That's one of the places to go see. I get the chance to, so yeah. Talk to you guys later.